Good morning, everyone. This is True Patriot here, also known as CC2 Arms. On behalf of Volunteer Agriculture, True Living Organic Farms, and uh, it's a nice, cool morning. We had a, a bunch more rain last night. And uh, I've got my trusty mechanical toothbrush here, and uh, we're at the tomato, one of the tomato beds. I figured it would be a good opportunity for uh, me to talk briefly on uh, pollination and to the tomatoes. I'm going to try to zoom in uh, in post-editing of this video, but I usually get around 98% uh, pollination success. And what that equates to in the tomatoes, basically anywhere where there is a flower, unless something happens that damages that flower head, I'm going to have a tomato. The cool thing about uh, tomatoes is they're actually self-pollinating. So you see this flower. In each of these flowers is both uh, the male and the uh, female parts. And to encourage, promote, and otherwise make the attempt to ensure a successful pollination of all these flowers, I come through here every single morning, seven days a week, and I look at the flowers. Now, if I find a flower that's opened and completely open, then it's not really uh, pollinated yet. But if you see, like, see these flowers, see how they're like all closed up? That means that there was a successful pollination that should likely result in a tomato. But what I'll do to encourage that is naturally this process would occur via harmonic vibration. Uh, the wind would blow the branch, it would vibrate, and the uh, male would drop the pollen onto the female. Up in that flower, you've got your male parts, then your female parts. But the way that I encourage that, or help it along, these vibrations, and I'll come up to each flower and just basically let it jiggle. And that vibration, sometimes, and the best time to do this is real early in the mornings, and sometimes as you're doing it, you can actually see the uh, some of the excess pollen falling to the ground. Um, I will try, and I'm using the GoPro, so I don't know how close in post-editing I'll be able to zoom in. But if you can see, the, this, uh, this particular bed right here is the Roma bed. And I've just got tomatoes popping out all over. But I figured, I won't take a bunch of time, I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to uh, basically explain pollination and how to increase the uh, overall yields of your and success of your tomato plants, people. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, much love. Namaste, blessings, and greetings to you all. Until next time, folks, this has been, uh, this has been fun.